Hey guys, in my pre in my previous tutorial, I talked about how to move a cube uh, at a constant speed using your arrow keys. So make sure you have done that tutorial before proceeding with this tutorial. So what I want to do now is slightly improve on the code. So if I bring up the code, uh, you will be able to see that basically I've got it set up so that when I have pressed a key, it moves the uh, cube using the translate function uh, at a speed of 0 0.1 units per frame. So that's why it always moves at a constant speed. There is no acceleration. So let's start slowly bringing in some acceleration. Now the first thing I want to do is change how it detects my key press. So right now I have, I'm using input.getKey. So I'll introduce you guys to another function that I'll show you on Google Chrome first. And it's called input.getAxis. So you can simply Google Unity input.getAxis to find this page. And basically, it just says that we can detect uh, how long you've been holding down the key. And we're going to turn it into a number. So let's just start by, um, let's just start getting this code onto our program one at a time. So you can see here that it says float translation equals input dot get access. So let's just do that little bit. So I'm going to go float input, uh, sorry, float. Um, let's do horizontal equals input dot get axis bracket quotation mark horizontal. Okay, so you probably have no idea what this means right now. Basically, it means I want to know how much I have been holding down the horizontal axis. Now, there are quite a few ways Unity collects this information. Uh, if you want to know, let's go into Edit, uh, Project Settings, um, Input, and you can see how it collect collects the information. So. For the horizontal axis, you can either press the A key on your keyboard or the D key on your keyboard, or there is um, joystick and all that, but we're not using a joystick right now, so let's just try it with the keyboard. So um, let's just get rid of this left and right. Um, let's comment all that out. Okay, let's comment all this out because we don't want it right now. Um, let me just use a better way. So comment star slash star and slash star slash. Okay, so this section here is now commented out, which means it will not affect, um, it will not affect the program. These lines of code is disabled. Okay, so now in this section, I'm going to uh, print the horizontal value onto the screen so you can see what it's doing. So if I run the program and I hold down the left and right arrow keys, look at what it prints in the console. Okay, in the console, when I hold down the left and right arrow keys, uh, make sure you click on the screen and make sure you scroll down to the bottom. You can see if I hold down the left key, it becomes slowly going towards negative one. Okay, there's a transition period where it goes to negative one. If you don't hold it down, if you hold down a little bit of the left arrow key, it only goes slightly towards negative one, but it won't get to negative one. It'll be like negative zero point two or something and then the same thing happens when you hold down the right key it goes to one and there's also a transition period so this will help us get that acceleration that i was talking about instead of um 
instead of moving at a constant speed, if I try and detect the movement uh, through this get axis, I can um, I can reflect that information in my transform. So the code is now going to be um, instead of using transform dot translate. So let's copy this. Uh, let's put it over here. Instead of using this, uh, just ignore the red stuff right now. Okay, um, the this should the red stuff shouldn't show on your computer. Um, so transform dot translate. Instead of putting zero point one f, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to just type horizontal. Okay, I'm going to let the information that I collect from the axis to determine how much I'm moving left and right. So if I save that, and I run the game, and if you press left or right, look what happens. The cube moves really fast. And the reason is because this number it's moving from 0 to negative 1 really fast and this code is being executed 30 frames per second so to slow that down there are basically two things we have to do as you can see from the documentation the first thing is we're going to define a speed that we want this object to move at so let's change that right now let's at the start of um, the class let's move the cursor right up to the line just under public class and let's put in float um, speed public float you'll see why it's called public float speed in a second and then um, public float speed let's just give it an initial number 10.0 f and then here we're going to go horizontal times the speed okay actually 10.0 is too big let's just put in 0 0.5 for now okay so let's save that and you can see why it's called public because when I run this game if you run this game um, you can see if you click on the cube there is now a speed number here this number will affect how fast your box moves so when you're moving it with your left and right arrow keys okay you can see it's still too fast so let's just change that number to 0. Point one and run it again and it's a lot slower and you can see there is a slight acceleration okay it's not as constant as it used to be let's change that to 0 0.2 so the acceleration slightly more obvious because the number is going from 0 to negative 1 when you hold down the keyboard so there's a slight acceleration at the beginning when you hold down the key so it's slightly better than before so let's do the same with our um, let's do the same with our vertical axis so we can simply just copy this code here and every time you see the word horizontal just change it to vertical 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 um, we don't have to print it out anymore so let's just delete that delete that and then vertical time speed now where is the vertical axis vertical axis is in the z axis so let's change that to zero and put vertical time speed in the z axis coordinate save it control s and play it again so you can see now if i press left and right up and down there's a slight acceleration 
Okay, so it's a bit better than before, where there was no acceleration, it's just constant movement. Okay, um, the next thing I want to improve on is you can see the speed is a very small number. Now, theoretically, we would want the speed to be in meters per second because the number is all these numbers uh, are, rep are supposed to represent meters. So, if we want the speed in meters per second, what we need to do is use the mathematical equation that I'll show you right now. And the equation is speed is equal to distance divided by time. Okay, so if I want the speed to be in meters per second, so if I want the speed to be in meters per second, then I need the distance to be in meters and the time to be in seconds. Okay, but right now the time that it's taking in the code, the time is now is not in seconds. It, the time is in frames. So to convert this time into seconds, what I need to do is I need to multiply uh, this number here. I need to multiply the speed by um, how much time it has taken each frame. How much time does each frame take? And that is represented by the function time equals delta time. The time in seconds it took complete the last frame. So if you put this number, if you put this number here and here, then what's going to happen is you can simply enter the speed in how many meters you want per second. So you can simply put in here 10, for example, and then if you run the program now, okay, and you move the arrow keys, it's not, it's super slow because um, I've got 0 0.1. So let's change that to 10. And there is something that's not working. Time dot delta time. Hmm, should be working. Save it again. Let's run it again. So move it around. Seems to be moving really slow horizontally. The start is still changing to get rid of these breakpoints. Hang on a second. Control S and let's run it again. Change the speed to 10, run it, and you can see that it is working. Oops, I just accidentally flipped the box. Oop, did it again. So left, right, yep, it's definitely working now. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.